Okay, my name is Johan Falk. I am in Denver at DrupalCon and as you can hear my voice, I'm having quite a good time here. Uh, this screencast, I'm going to show you a module called Free Pager that I wrote up. Uh, finished this, uh, well, so, some hours ago. Uh, it allows you to use views to create pages that are really flexible and can list whatever you want. You might have seen a screencast about this before, but this one, uh, the module has uh, gone into a 2.x version and now is also a full project which you can find at drupal.org slash project slash free pager. Well, enough about that. Let's see here. Um, here's a uh, demo site and we have some uh, example content here. Uh, and I'm going to go in and look at an article. And uh, I've set up this free pager right now so I can browse uh, articles. Go forward next, and here's uh, one article. And down at the bottom somewhere, we have all oh, this happens to be the first article. Yeah, of course, it, it's the newest article. Uh, well, they're probably listed in reverse order. Never mind. Then I go forward to the next one. Here you can see I have the, the article's uh, titles which I use for listing. I can scroll down and here I can go, this is the pre, uh, current one. I can go forward and I can go back. And you might wonder, how does this work? Well, uh, this is a view. And if I edit this one, you can see that there is a display here called pager block that has some fancy settings here. Uh, I have three fields here. One is called title, one is called net, and one is called image. The NID field is the important one. This is rewritten. This is the node idea. I've rewritten it to node slash NID. And this represents all the paths that uh, this pager should browse through. So I'm, well, in this case, I'm, I'm uh, filtering on articles. I'm sorting on uh, post date and things. Uh, and I get a list of all these uh, node ideas, these node paths, really, and then I have title and also have image here. You can see in the settings here, I can, for example, let's uh, try and change this previous and next thing from title to image. I'm using the thumbnail version, which is kind of good if you want to you know, browse. I'm going to do the same for the next here. Image, apply. And let's also remove this current thing, because it's not always necessary to show the thing you're at. So I'm Selecting none on that. Apply. Save. Now I updated the pager, and we should see here down at the bottom, we have now images instead that we use to browse forward and backward. And at day two, you can get into views. You can use like this to have browsing forward and backward. This is a block down here, and you can place that block anywhere you like. All right, I'm going to show you one more thing, well, a few more things. I'm going to show you how to build a view from scratch, and this time I'm going to build a view that allows us to browse through editors, and users that have the editor role. So let's call this uh, editor pager, or browsers, or something like that, browser. Uh, let's list users. Let's not have a page. Let's have them unsorted. I want to have them sorted by uh, by name, so let's do that. Uh, sort by name, username, nice, thank you. Ascending is good. I have the name there, that uh, perfect. I'm gonna add a filter to sort only the uh, users that are editors. I have like 10, 12, something like that on my site right now. All editors, apply. Right. Now I'm adding this pager block. And I get something that is a block, but also is a pager. And uh, field containing path. Yeah, I need to add the path that represents the, the pages I want to browse through. So let's do that. I'm adding UID. The users have pages on user slash UID. So I'm fetching the UID here. Uh, I'm not gonna do the label thing. And I'm not gonna do linking. Avoid doing linking, it, it won't destroy. Uh, your pager, but uh, links are added automatically. Well, it might might disrupt it a bit, so so avoid it. Well, rewrite the output of this to user slash UID. I happen to know that the replacement pattern is UID, but you can find it if you scroll down and open this up. Apply. Uh, okay. Uh, so field containing path should be the UID field, and I'm going to use the username for browsing forward and back, name. You could do static text as well. I'm going to show you that later on. I prepared something for doing that. A little bit more complex and, and exotic example. Uh, okay, 
we have a name name and let's uh, change it I should really turn off this pager thing here so we get all the uh, all the results all the time that would make sense save all right now prepare the pager block let's go into structure and blocks and down at the bottom somewhere we usually find editor browser here it is let's put that in I don't know, let's put it in sidebar first, that's probably perfect. Save block. Now if I go to my own page, I'm not an editor it seems, let's change that. Edit. Now I am an editor, then I will appear in this list. The views pager block will um, realize that this is a part of all the paths that it has to browse through. Displays this block and I can browse forward and backward. And you can see this uh, is actually alphabetical order going, going, and here's the last one, no more to go forward. And that's how it works, pretty useful. Any uh, uh, paths that you can get into views like this can be used to create uh, um, a forward and back, uh, forward and back list. Uh, and that's a uh, previous next is probably a better word for it. Uh, and that's kind of useful. This is a block so you can set uh, titles on it if you want and so on. You can also do that in views of course. Uh, I'm going to show you one more thing, which is a good use case for this. Uh, I have here basic pages, and I've added a uh, uh, entity reference field. So every basic page refers to one or more articles. And if I go to one of these, see I have built a special page here that has a special path. It's node slash, and then the basic page node ID, and then the article node ID. So I'm viewing here the article Capto Elego Mauris. On the left hand side I'm using page, page manager and panels for this. And on the right hand side I have the teaser of the basic page. And here it doesn't show very well but I have behind these cogwheels here forward and next things. So I can click next and browse through these articles in the context of this um, basic page that I was looking. So four articles belong to this basic page and I can browse through them forward and next. There is no other module in the Drupal universe that does this. At least it wasn't some time ago when I really tried to find it. Um, yeah, uh, that's about it. Let's see if... Uh, I, I'm gonna show you what this looks like. If I edit this... Oh, this, this panel thing. Okay, uh, let's go into views instead. Uh, articles, uh, pages, articles. Here, pager block. Uh, I have, well, some, some field set up. One of these, uh, this one, uh, is, it, is rewritten to uh, become a path, node slash, and then an argument I'm taking to this view, and then uh, a node ID. Could use, well, never mind. Then I am using a field type that is called global custom text. You can see here global custom text that allows you to do custom uh, static text. And that's what I'm doing here. Previous, next, that's how they, uh, well, basically how they look. I'm using these previous and next to browse forward and backward. Anything you can make it as a field, you can have as, as links forward and next. And uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I hope um, this you'll find this useful. Uh, I sure do. And um, yeah, I'm, as you can see on this free pager uh, project page, I am seeking co-maintainers. It's a small module. Uh, if you want to learn how to do uh, uh, views uh, display plugins and, and study that, this is a good opportunity. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, thanks for watching. Have fun uh, and uh, see you around.